Yeah, okay, we're dead. We're dead, we're dead. Thank you, whip! Woo! I don't know how we did that! Hey guys, what is happening? Dan here, aka Night Fox, and today we're jumping into a new game, Vampire Survivors. I uh, have not played this even a single game yet. Uh, I've seen a lot of content on it, but I wanted to try it for myself, so today we're jumping in and uh, you get to see my very first impression, so let's get started. Uh, we've only got one character to choose from to start, so let's jump in. So uh, we are on the forest. Uh, I started out with the whip weapon, that's what this character gets. We gotta kill these bats. Um, I don't know, like, how much I can risk. But anyway, so, uh, as you level up, you gain items and weapons. Some of those items and weapons go together. Oh man, these bats are deadly. Uh, so yeah, we need to get some of this experience so I can get a new item. I am not very fast. Okay. So it's all about getting items and weapons. We're gonna take the Santa water. This is gonna make some little orbs around us. Uh, you'll see them probably here in a second. That'll do, oh, right there. It'll do some damage. Killed those bats, letting us get some more XP here. Um, the Santa water can be upgraded if you get the correct item to go with it. And I'll be honest, I have no clue what that item is. So uh, it's all about pairing them up and getting super weapons. Every uh, Every couple minutes a boss shows up and you gotta fight the boss. Um, they'll just be in uh, along with the normal troops, so. Uh, we also wanna get the whip upgraded. Cause if we can get the whip upgraded, oh, okay, that blue bat, that's a that's like a mini boss, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Like I said, I haven't played this myself, I've just watched other people play. So right now we need to get back up and around and get over to our experience here. So hopefully we can get another level. Okay, there we got another level. We're gonna take Axe. Uh, just so we have another upward attacking thing here. All right, so there our axe went out. Now while we go, our weapons will get stronger and uh, we'll be able to kill things just a little bit easier. Right now, we got a little bit of left to right action we can do and then we got that axe which, uh, which will go upwards and then come down on stuff. So let's grab this XP while we can. Uh, next upgrade, I'm, I might start upgrading the Santa water. Uh, get a couple more orbs around. I've got no health. I did not realize like how much damage stuff would do to us. I kind of want to kill that bat eventually too. That blue one. Okay, there we killed the blue bat. If, uh, okay, we upgraded again. Uh, let's take magic wand here. Let's get another uh, attacking. Uh, oh, let's dodge all that group of bats. We could not handle that. Let's try to make our way over to that chest which will get us an upgrade. Bats! Oh. Uh, I'll be honest. This game is much harder than I thought. <laughs> I've been watching people play it. I've been theory crafting like, oh, you know what kind of build I would do? Yeah, guess what? That goes out the window when you're running around trying not to die from a million bats and you can't make your way back to the chest that you want to get. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Oh, and we got a red gem. Okay, let's open this chest. Let's see here. Okay, opening the chest. Let's see what we get. Yeah. Okay, we got an upgrade to our Santa water, which is going to be helpful. I'll turn up the sound a little bit here. All right, Santa water. Boom, upgraded. Let's get back on the right thing. Boom, upgraded. All right, we got a red gem, which is more experience, so that's helpful. Um, that spinach goes with the red wand, which we don't have yet, but it'll give us an extra 10% damage. So we're gonna grab that, because uh, obviously we're lacking in the damage department. Let's grab as much experience here as we can. Uh, let's see if we can get our ax to come down onto this group of bats that's uh, slowly creeping up onto us. All right, we just need to try to get as much experience as we can here. There's another bat. Get in the Santa water, please. So you'll notice as we play and we unlock some more stuff, um, some of the items have weird names like Santa water. Like what? what is Santa water? Like that doesn't even make sense. Uh, but yeah, there's some other funny ones too. Uh, this game's been out, uh, it's been out for a couple months now. It's $3 on Steam. Uh, like I said, I've been seeing some other uh, YouTubers playing it so I wanted to give it a try. Uh, all right, we'll get the whip. Oh, 
Whip or spinach? 10% more damage. I'm going with whip. Now our whip should uh, whip a little bit more often. Uh, the 10% damage boost would have been nice, but uh, I mean, I just, you know, more whip, more often. It makes sense to me. Oh, let's grab that chicken. Okay, chicken heals you. Uh, as you go through the levels, um, items will get dropped around the map, um, and uh, there's different power-ups. We'll see, you know, if we get to that point, if I can explain what some of those power-ups are as they come. Uh, but yeah, floor chicken was good because uh, it gave us some more health back that we desperately needed. All right, let's see here. <sighs> Knife can be a good item, but um, it causes you to have to like actually aim a little bit where all these other ones just go off. So we're gonna take ax. That ax has been doing good for us. Helps us uh, with the upward direction here. Uh, we got ghosts coming in now. Every few minutes you get some like different, uh, different, uh, enemies coming at you. Uh, I've been watching uh, Phone Cats. I really like Phone Cats. Shout out to him. Um, he's been trying to go for the world record for highest level, which is probably like in the 190s now. We're probably going to get to like level 30. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, he's he's really good at this game. Uh, Alien Rocks. That's another guy. Tyler is his name. Um, I like watching him. He's done some interesting videos. Uh, but it's uh, it's roguelike. You don't get the same items presented to you every time. So it's uh, You know, you might go in thinking oh, all right I'll just grab these items and then all of a sudden, you know, you don't get presented those items. So um, You gotta kind of just fly by the seat of your pants a little bit We're gonna take another Santa water because that's a uh, if we can get the companion item for that It's gonna be really good. Okay. See now we're at a point. We've got these little flowers surrounding us um, you can see there's a yellow arrow at the top of my screen. I, I got a chest at some point that I didn't grab yet. Um, eventually we'll be able to get out of this circle. We don't actually have to like fight our way out. But we don't want to get too close to the edge and get trapped either. Um, so yeah, I must have I killed. There was a blue bat earlier. I must have killed it. Oh, we took a bunch of damage. Okay, good. Circle's gone. Let's sprint up to that chest. And I use the word sprint pretty loosely there. All right, we got this chest. Let's see what we get here. You can skip this, but like, it's kind of cool music, right? All right, we got another Santa water. So you can upgrade your stuff up to level eight. Um, after that, um, it won't be presented to you to, to use that anymore. Uh, let's see if we can kill this guy. We should get a uh, we should get another chest if we kill this guy. Luckily, everything's moving a little bit slower. We've got a little bit higher damage now, so. But, and that's the other thing. The enemies get stronger as time goes. Uh, okay. Now the King Bible, it spins around you and around and around and around. It can be a really good item, but uh, I've only can get, I can only get two more weapons. So I'm gonna hold out right now. We're gonna upgrade our ax. And uh, since I took my hand off the keyboard, we weren't moving. Uh, okay, cool. I killed that mantis, so it'd be nice to get down and get that chest. Let's sneak through here. You can see our Santa water all over the map. Um, that's chipping away at everything. That's good. Um, it's kind of nice to have that like set area because now, now that it's there, I can kind of lure people into it. Uh, let's just get up here and get this chest. Ooh, triple chest. All right, we're gonna get three items out of this one. See what we get. Boom, boom, boom. And this goes on longer than I thought. Okay, so we got a whip. We upgraded our blue one a little bit. We got some more Santa water. Let's jump back in. Okay. Upgrades to a little bit of everything. That's going to be helpful. Uh, let's see here. Keep grinding. That's the thing. There's there's some once you get like a lot of damage and you can start killing stuff fast, your levels start going up really quick and uh, you know the game just starts progressing so much faster. All right, we're gonna take the I was gonna say whip, but I think I want the axe. So we're taking the axe. Uh, if you play right, not that I'm playing wrong, but uh, eventually you'll have all your items maxed anyway. So. Um, but I, I, I am a big fan of the axe, how it goes up, chops into things, and then falls down, so. Uh, oh, bats. So it's funny too, like, those bats will come later in the game, and like right now I'm scared of the bats, and they push stuff, and 
And then later in the game when I'm stronger, I'll be like, Psh, that's no big deal. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage. We need to find some chicken. There's a chest up there. We got more bats coming. Whoa, look at us go. Can we make it out of here? No! All right, so that's my first game. I'll try another one. Uh, here it gives you all the stats. I got four unlocks, apparently. Oh, okay. Apparently, I was holding out for stuff that I couldn't even get yet. I didn't know that. All right, so the more you play, the more stuff you unlock, uh, which uh, would have been nice to know going in. So let's jump into another one here. That's what I get for watching people that have unlocked everything. I didn't know that you had to unlock stuff. All right, here we go. Game number two. We're starting with the whip. Can you whip in the other direction? Apparently not. Oh man, early game. Not easy. All right, here we go. We're taking out these bats. Whip. Okay, thank you. All right, we're gonna go Santa Water again. So now, okay, I don't, I don't feel so bad about not making it very far in my first game. I didn't realize I was limited to the items that I could get. Um, oh, get off of me! What? That whip needs to happen way more often. So yeah, now I now I have no clue like what items I don't have access to. There might there might be tons of stuff I don't have access to. This is crazy. Whip, thank you. Santa water coming in, saving the day. Need to get some more experience. All right, now that I kind of figured out this whip mechanic too, that helps a little bit. It only right right now it only goes in front of me. Get off of me! Okay. All right, we're gonna try the Bible out. But see, there's a duration on the Bible. It comes out, it'll hit some stuff, and then it'll disappear. Thank you, there it is. And like, oh, see how short the time was? Uh, we need to get that upgraded. Oh, yeah, just walk into bats. Nothing like that. All right, let's sit down here for a little bit. Look at that, chicken. Okay, so these things I'm pretty sure can give you items. Yeah, there, it gave me money. The other one gave me chicken. So we gotta be looking out for those too. There's so much more to this game than I realized. Okay, we got the Bible going, because who doesn't like the Bible? All right, uh, let's go. Get some more experience up here. Might have to circle back around. All right, we're kinda, okay, Santa water. We're a little limited in the directions of our attacks right now, and we're waiting on the, okay, let's grab that. Ooh, there's a red gem in there, that's good. Let's skip this. All right, maybe you can't skip it. Damn, I just don't know the button. Okay, we got another Bible. That's good. Thank you. Okay. And we got another level. We don't want the health. We want the axe. All right, now we got two Bibles. I don't know if the uh, duration goes any longer yet. Oh, since we don't have all items, we might as well take the wand. Yep, yep, we're dead. Woo! Somehow we didn't die. We should be very dead. Oh. Whoa. Can somebody please get my chicken? Words I never thought I'd be screaming. Oh, man. All right, let's see if we can work our way. Oh, there's chicken. Please give me the chicken. We made, okay, good. Oh, man. I feel so bad about watching other YouTubers and thinking to myself, oh, this game looks really easy. It is not easy. Okay. Uh, we'll take another projectile on our whip. Let's we'll see if we can get some more floor chicken. We did not. Try to get some more experience. All right, all right. We're just gonna be really strategic. We're gonna get all the unlocks in like one game. It's two games, because this is our second one, but that's all right. Look at us, just diving around, getting experience. Whoosh. Get this bat out of here. Die, bat. We wanna upgrade our whip one more time. Do I even have ax? I don't think I have ax. Okay, you gotta pay attention. I think last, ooh, okay. 
Wings makes you move faster. I'm gonna take the Bible though. I really need some chicken! Oh man. Oh, I think this gives us five things. Oh, uh, guess what? It doesn't matter because we're so low on health. Why didn't we get more health? Be all right. Okay, so we got five things. Um, we got three wands. We got the whip and the Santa water. Uh, let's go. Okay, we got to be very careful because we are ridiculously low on health. But our weapon should be really strong right now. So uh, we're gonna try to uh, find some chicken. That's not chicken. We got like skeletons chasing us. Some of them got bandanas. Okay, we got a clover for an item. Nope, I don't have a clover for an item. That just must be a temporary thing. Uh, all right, so I guess our goal right now is just to last as long as possible, obviously. And uh, the longer we last, the more stuff we do, we're gonna unlock more items, which in turn will make future games easier. So that's our goal right now. Okay, we gotta get more experience, but we can't take any damage let's do it get off of the tree okay there's also different levels which i'm sure you unlock as you play um the most common one i've seen played is the library you're like in a long hallway and you can only pretty much go left or right um i thought that ghost was gonna kill me all right we got this look at us go okay Pew, pew, pew. All right, we just need some chicken because I am assuming at some point we're gonna get surrounded. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna take the can can. Okay, so normally it's like a candelabra, but this is a candelabra door. Uh, that's one of those funny names I was talking about. Um, so we're taking that because it makes our attacks bigger. So I'm pretty sure our books get a little bit bigger. Our uh, our axes get a little bit bigger, and I know for a fact our Santa water spots get a little bit bigger, which means more damage in the long run. All right, we got this mantis. Let's take this mantis down. Take that. Good way to get some aggression out, you know? Okay, we killed the mantis. Ah! It was took a crap ton of damage! Okay. Woo! I am not gonna make it very far. I wish I knew how to speed this up. All right, there we get the whip. Ugh. Okay, thank you. I look like I'm dead, but I'm not. Apparently there's like a sliver of health there. Luckily there's no uh, there's no ranged attacks, so you literally just can't get touched. Um, yeah, floor chicken! Dun, dun, dun. So that was 30 health, and you see how far it took my health up. I'm pretty sure my character has like 100, 120 health I don't know we can see it on the upgrade screen here in a second if I get another item I'm right, gonna stand here see some people do the strat where you just stand still but like I can't I can't do it my nerves are not strong enough all right Santa water's doing work we got our whip axe getting thrown up every once in a while Whew, I thought I died okay we could take the crown that gets you more experience, but we don't want that. I mean, you do want more experience, but I don't want the crown because that takes up spots. Anyway, after me saying all that, I'm taking the crown because I, I don't think I can get all the items I want to get. So I might as well take the extra XP since we don't have everything unlocked yet. Okay, let's get all this experience. Let's see if we can get a chicken out of this. No, nope, no chicken. So right now, we're just uh, trying to find more of those fire things. Let's see if we can get chickens. Um, so yeah, eventually, when you have all the items unlocked, you can, um, it's kind of like combining items. You need the right items and weapons, and then you can get upgraded weapons out of chests, um, which are much stronger. Um, I'm, st I'm stuck on something. Okay. Okay, we made it. I don't know what was going on there. I don't know if there's like a pond there that you can't walk through. Let's get this. Chicken. Thank you for the chicken. All right. 
I don't remember how long we made it last time. I think it was around the seven minute mark, so, uh, uh... Things might be getting tough. Stop running into me! Oh, we're in danger. We are. We are. We're in danger! Alright, so two games of seven minutes. Let's see if I got any unlocks. Look at that! We got more unlocks. Okay, we got the fire wand. We got some garlic. We got the clover. And empty tome. Maybe we got a new character? Ah! No, what do we gotta do? Does it tell us? It does not tell us, and I'm not gonna look it up. Let's do one more game. Vampire Survivors. Third game. Let's do it. Ah, we're still not good with the whip. Yippa! Oh, okay. So I forgot to talk about what the end game is. Okay. So, you got that timer up there. Your goal is to make it to 30 minutes and then you beat the game. Um, obviously, the waves get increasingly harder. What do we want? Let's take the magic wand. So, yeah, the waves get harder and harder. At 30 minutes, a, a big boss shows up um, that has, like, ridiculous amount of health. He can pretty much kill your character in one second if he touches you. Um, yeah. So that's always fun. But no, you beat the game when you get to the 30 minute mark. So that's that's the goal, is 30 minutes. Um, we've made it to like seven and a half so far. So, okay, so we're gonna leave that chicken there. Remember where the chicken is. Because we don't need it right now. We're on full health, so. We're getting the hang of this. Famous last words, okay. Um, we'll try the knife out, we haven't done it yet. So the knife shoots out in whatever direction you're pointing. Um, ah! like that. Okay. So whatever direction I'm pointing, when it when it's time for that knife to trigger, is the direction it'll shoot. Um, it's the only item like that that like takes a little bit of aiming. Um, so if you can get to where you're just walking left and right and having that knife shoot, it's very convenient. You can get more knives. You can make them shoot faster. Um, yeah. Knives can be good. It's just annoying because you actually have to pay attention to what you're doing where the other weapons are like on autopilot pretty much. See like right now I can line this up and I can go down. I can get a couple shots on these guys. Uh, no! Just wanna survive! Just wanna survive. And it'll keep shooting in whatever direction I last went so like that I'm gonna aggro that blue bat because that blue bat can give us a chest yeah okay it didn't give us a chest but it gave us some upgrades I don't care do I care if I'm luckier I don't care if I'm luckier right now whoa big swarm of bats I just want experience not trying to die Oof, duh. Ah! oh man this game gets your nerves up very quickly just like running around, you think you're good, and then all of a sudden a big swarm of bats comes running at you, pushing stuff, I'm trying to get that bag of money. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take Laurel, which I don't know why it's called Laurel, but it uh, gives you a shield. When when it's active, I can't take damage, so um, in the long run, it'll help me unlock more items. Okay. But I don't. It doesn't pair with anything, so it's not like it's gonna like scale very well for late game stuff. But guess what? We're probably not gonna make it to late game stuff because we haven't made it past seven minutes. Alrighty. Scoop it, deep it, deep. All right, we got some experience up here. We got that bat that we're trying to take out. Please. Got more experience. We're just trying to get as strong as we can, as fast as we can, and not die. All right, we got this. We got things under control. I looked away for a second and things went downhill. Can I pause? Is there a way to pause? No? Nope. Okay. We'll just wait till we get an item. I want to turn up the game sound because I think it might be too quiet. I don't know. We'll just keep going. We'll figure it out. Ah! Be nice to get an upgrade. Okay, fire wand. We want it. Boom. All right, now we got the fire wand. 
Now if we can get spinach, and I can make it past 10 minutes, and get stuff upgraded well, I can show you the upgraded fire wand. But the odds of that are not good. I gotta remember that I can't, like, even for a second look away. Because <laughs> uh, that's when stuff tends to hit the fan, if you know what I mean. Okay. We got a horde up there. I think at the five minute mark is when, uh, is when the circle of flowers comes. I'd like to just get some experience. Okay, the shield is on, so I can't take damage. I don't know how long that lasts or how long it takes to recharge. Let's follow our flames a little bit. Uh, this wall here keeps getting me in trouble. Woo! Yeah, all right, experience. Uh, okay, we're gonna take garlic. So, uh, garlic makes like a little ring around you. As you know, vampires don't like garlic. That being said, most of these monsters aren't vampires, but it still works. So it'll make a little aura around me. Um, they'll take damage if they get into that aura. Um, it's not like a ton of damage, but it helps, right? Every bit helps. So now we got that. Okay, we can't get any more weapons. I should have maybe paid attention to that. Uh, all right, so we're locked in on weapons. But maybe if we can get some spinach, we can, uh, oh, wasn't paying attention. We're at the five minute mark. We got the ring of flowers pushing us in. Uh, upgrade, fire wand. All right, we accidentally picked up our floor chicken. Kinda wanted to save that for later. Okay. We're trying to use the garlic. Uh, uh, uh. Sucks that our circle also includes that wall down there. Let's get that red gem, maybe it'll give us a level. Nope, close though, okay. Okay, just trying to get these guys taken out. Okay, we got a level. Uh, let's go whip. Now we got whip in two directions. Um, if you get another whip, it like whips upward too, which is helpful. The only thing about whip is it's only good like up and left to right, so. It's, you wanna get like below them and then let it do its thing. Be nice to get. Oh, I can't get Santa water because I got all my weapon stacks full. See, that's where the roguelike thing comes in. Like, now that uh, my weapons up there in the top left are all full, I can't get any other weapons, so. We're dealing with what we're dealing with and upgrading what we got. All right, so we just gotta keep moving down <laughs> and leaving all this experience behind. All right, we got some floor chicken. We'll remember that that's there. No, I didn't want to pick it up. I said, remember, it's there. That guy was not listening. Okay, we're abandoning our whip right now so that we can come up and get, whoop, we got a level. Uh, let's go fire wand. We're abandoning our whip strategy, not fully, just for a second, because we got all this precious experience that we left behind while we were running straight down. Okay, got some experience over here. Get out of my way, please. Okay. Okay, this is the this is where we die every time. Seven minute area. We got bats, we got green blobby things, we got a praying mantis. Somehow we made it through that little area. I don't know where I'm going. I've got no plans. <laughs> okay, we made it. I don't know how we did that. Okay, we're dead. We're dead, we're dead. Thank you, whip! Woo! I don't know how we did that! Ah, ah. Okay, whew, we got a level. Now we can take a, just take a breather. Okay, we're taking the tome um, so that our weapons all go off faster. Uh, increase cooldowns cool, because that means like our fireballs are shooting faster, our wand's shooting faster, our whip's going more often. Uh, I don't know if I'm like moving too much and like, I don't know, this is, this is honestly one of the most stressful things I've done in a while. That big red bat is gonna give us trouble. Woo, okay. We made it through there. 
Yay, you're below me and I can't do anything to touch you all. We got more silly bats flying through here. Now we're just trying to go around and get this experience that we left behind again. Uh, All right, furthest we've made it. That big red bat's gonna be a problem. Stay away from him. Little blue bat would be nice to take out. Uh-oh, okay. Reverse course. We've got problems. Um, let's see, base damage up by 10. Uh, base damage up by 10, five, or the cooldown reduced. We're going base damage up by 10. It's only for that one weapon, but still, it's a good one. Okay, here we go, bats coming. We can make it through these holes here. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's see if we can get something from these, please. Oh, yay, we picked up a chicken and we didn't need to. We just kind of wanted to make it appear, not actually eat it. Let's go backwards. Whoa, shoot the gap. Okay. All right, all right, we are getting this. Nine minutes we're up to. These big red bats are gonna be problems. We're not collecting experience as fast as I'd like. Okay, avoid those bats, get some experience. We're not killing anything. This is gonna be a problem if we if we don't get some more levels. Okay, here we go. We made it up to our experience that we were leaving behind. We need to get as much of it as we can. Okay, that was good, that was a good shot there. Oh, there's a chest down there. That would be helpful. What is that thing? I've never, okay. Okay, let's get down to the chest. We don't move down very well. Okay, oh, we're good when there's nothing in our way though. Okay, boom, chest, let's see what's in here. Let's see if we can find the button that uh, skips stuff. Escape? Yeah, I think it's escape. Okay, we upgraded our whip again. And now we're in another kill circle, okay. We got multiple bosses in our circle. We got all these red bats that we're like not doing anything to. I'm gonna have to pick up that chicken. Oh, we've got problems. Okay. Just dodge and weave. Maybe if I slow down a little bit so that uh, they don't close in my gaps. Ah, gap, 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 chicken damage. Okay. How long does the circle last for? Because if it's a minute, I don't think I'm gonna last another 30 seconds in here. Ah, uh, run, run, no! Okay. Don't die. We're doing good. We need this circle to fade away, though. We need this circle to fade away, though. Need this circle to fade away, though. Ah, we pushed through. Okay. Oh, I don't know how we lived there. That was ridiculous. Okay, grabbing a crown. Because, uh, oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't have grabbed the crown. I probably should have grabbed anything else. Um, ah, get away from me. Oh, my giant. Oop, okay, this was it. This is it. This is the end of the world. We're we're all done. Push through. Run, 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 run. Ah! All right, guys. Well, there was my first couple games of Vampire Survivor. We unlocked a new character? Huh? And we got Pichon. That's one of the best best weapons in the game. All right, well, now we've got something for next time. Uh, thanks for stopping by. This is Vampire Survivors. Uh, I will definitely be playing more of this. So uh, make sure you stop back. See what else I can unlock. See how the game progresses. Try it out for yourself. It's three bucks right now on Steam. So uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Till next time, thanks for stopping by.